Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about a new topic that is pattern recognition and it, this is a very interesting topic and I have been studying about this for a couple of months and now I really find this interesting. So I was thinking that this will be uh, really helpful for you guys if you are thinking about uh, doing your final year research or thesis on this pattern recognition. So today I'm going to give a small introduction to pattern recognition. Let's start. Pattern recognition is the ability of machines to identify patterns in data and then use those patterns to make decisions or predictions using computer algorithms. A pattern can be defined as anything that follows a trend and exhibits some kind of regularity. For example, a pattern could be a fingerprint image, a QR code, a handwritten cursive word, a human face or a speech signal, etc. The recognition of patterns can be done physically, mathematically or by the use of algorithms. When we talk about pattern recognition in machine learning, it indicates the use of powerful algorithms for identifying the regularities in the given data. The pattern recognition is widely used in the new age technical domains like computer vision, speech recognition, face recognition, etc. So let's learn about some phases in pattern recognition. There are basically four, uh, four different phases in pattern recognition such as sensing, pre-processing, feature extraction and classification. With the help of these phases, pattern recognition can be done on any type of input like image recognition, biometric recognition, facial recognition, color and shapes, uh, recuperating patterns from distorted inputs, etc. So the first phase here is sensing or the data acquisition. So data acquisition or sensing includes the measurements of physical variable. And then after that, the pre-processing stage. In this stage, the noise in the data is removed and there are many other pre-processing based on the data that we are getting as input. Uh, whatever uh, process is required uh, before processing those data is actually included in this pre-processing stage. And after that, uh, the feature extraction. We are going to learn what is feature and what is what do we mean by feature extraction in the later uh, slides. And at the last section, that is classification. Using features and learned models to assign a pattern to a category. We are going to understand all of this later in the later slides. Let's go to the next one. So we have talked about a phase called feature extraction. Let's learn what is feature. So feature can be considered as a measurement taken on the input pattern that is to be classified. Whatever we are doing here is uh, you can see an image on the right side, right? There are some uh, circles and some uh, plus signs here. The circle represent ballet dancer. You can see it written um, below and the plus sign here represent rugby player. So we can say that uh, based on the weight and height, we have actually found the position of each person on this um, graph. So what we want to do here is we, if some person tells their weight and height, we are going, we are going to assume or we are going to say if this person is a player or a dancer based on their height and weight. So this height and weight, these are the features. Based on this height and weight, we are going to tell if this person is a dancer or a player. That is what we say is classification. Either they are dancer or player. We are classifying them into two classes based on two features, height and weight. I hope you guys can understand this now. And let's see some more example. In character recognition, feature may be in, uh, features may include histogram counting the number of black pixels along the horizontal and vertical direction, number of internal holes, strokes detection, and many others. In spam detection algorithm, features may include the presence or absence of certain email headers, the email structure, the language, the frequency of uh, specific terms, the grammatical correctness of the text. Uh, you guys have uh, seen uh, this probably in practical life also. Whenever you have sent uh, a mail without the header or the subject or any uh, thing inside the body part, and sometimes you may see the, uh, that the receiver cannot actually uh, find your mail in the inbox. We need to check the spam folder for uh, finding those mail. They have actually detected your mail as the spam uh, based on these, uh, on, based on different features. In computer vision, there are a large number of possible features such as ages and objects. 
So I hope you guys have understood what the feature means a little. We are going to discuss about them uh, later also whenever we are going to learn about different algorithms in pattern recognition. So there is another term that is related to this feature extraction that is called feature vector. The feature vector is the sequence of feature represented as a d-dimensional column vector. If we make n measurements on our input patterns, each of which is a in unique feature, then we can use algebraic notation to create a set of these features, call it a feature vector. This will be the feature vector, T denotes transposition. There is another term that is called feature space. In pattern recognition, a feature space is an abstract space, where each pattern sample is represented as a point in n-dimensional space. Its dimension is determined by the number of features used to describe the patterns. Here the example we have uh, described previously is a two-dimensional feature space. So the next topic is feature extraction. By feature extraction we mean to identify the inherent characteristics found within the image required. These characteristics are used to describe the object or attributes of the object. object. Feature extraction can be of several types. Feature directly extracted from pixels, derived features like shape factor, perimeter square divided by area, features obtained from spectral responses. So this feature extraction is actually described uh, on the basis of an image input. So that is why we are uh, talking about pixels. So now let's talk about some applications of pattern recognition. Pattern recognition is used in many fields including computer science, psychology and biology and it is a key component of many modern technologies such as facial recognition, speech recognition, predictive analytics etc. So some of the uh, applications are um, described here. The first one is recommendation system. Many online platforms, social media, and entertainment and e-commerce utilize recommender system that gather data on users preference and employ machine learning algorithms to make personalized recommendations by analyzing patterns in the customers past purchase views and interest these systems suggest item that align with customer to provide more engaging and seamless experience we have all actually experienced this right in our practical life if we search for a dress on Facebook and we are going to see multiple other pages um, selling similar dresses in front of us, that, that will be recommended by Facebook to us. And we have also seen this in the um, in case of YouTube, right? If you search for a certain video, you are going to get suggested uh, by the same type of video for some time. Then another application of the pattern recognition is actually stock market prediction using pattern recognition for stock market prediction application is a classical yet challenging task with the purpose of estimating the future value of company stock or other traded assets both linear and machine learning methods have been studied for decades only lately deep learning models have been introduced and are rapidly gaining in popularity Another application is sentiment analysis. Pattern recognition is used in natural language processing to analyze and understand the intent and mood behind words. It is highly sophisticated and complex process that has been refined over the past decade. This data can be used to train LLMs and generative AI like OpenAI ChatGPT. Um, GPT-4, ChatGPT that you have all been used uh, for a couple of months now. To respond to users with a high degree of purpose with the added ability to write with various tones. Then another uh, important application is biometric biometrics and security. Pattern recognition is used in biometric system to identify in individuals based on their unique physical characteristics such as fingerprints, iris patterns or facial features. It is also used in cybersecurity to identify and block malicious patterns in network traffic and prevent attacks on personal data. This includes banking, malware, hacking and more. Pattern recognition is used in computer vision with robotics to identify, analyze visual patterns and interact with the environment widely used in uh, environment and interact with the environment. This is widely used in manufacturing factories and warehousing. Another important application is NLP. 
recognizing re algorithms to draw insights based on the patterns in data for applications such as plagiarism detection, text generation, uh, translation, grammar correction, spam mail detection, etc. Pattern recognition algorithm allows to think out of the box and detect instances that human would not see or notice. Algorithm patterns can, be de uh, can detect very fine movement in data or correlations between factors across a huge amount of data. This is very important for medical uh, use cases. For example, deep learning models are used to diagnose, uh, diagnose uh, brain tumors by taking images of magnetic resonance imaging. With neural networks, it became possible to detect patterns in immense amount of data. This enabled use cases that would not have been possible with traditional statistical methods. Pattern recognition is a vital in the medical field, especially for forensic analysis and DNA sequencing. DNA sequencing. For example, it has been used to develop vaccines to battle the COVID-19 virus. So that's all for today's video and this was the this was only the introduction later we are going to learn um, more about pattern recognition thank you